so Corbin had just gone home, and Louie came the exact day Corbin left. Um, we were staying in a hostel in Byron Bay, looking for a van, and met these two guys, and they sold us Minion Van, which was the name of our yellow van. It was super cool, had this chalk you could draw on on the outside. Live by the Stoke. We always were changing our mottos and what we said on the chalk. Uh, we bought the van for about 3000 US, which would have been about 4000 or 5000 Australian. Um, it took us a little bit, a couple days to get the money. We used a service like TransferWise or something like that. Um, this is on the Great Ocean Road. We actually did the Great Ocean Road twice. So we knew all of our favorite spots. Uh, we did it once with our high school friend, McKenna, and then once with two of my college friends, um, Jess and Keanu. But yeah, this is Great Ocean Road Part 2. Me and Louie had already done it, but we took McKenna there. So we started in Byron, and we went all the way to Perth. Um, we went from Byron North to Noosa. Um, this is a cool shot in Melbourne. We also went to Brisbane and visited our friend Kalani. Um, follow us to WAU. You can see we changed the sign. And then here we got a different sign. This is a classic camping spot in the woods. I think we're having some screen time or something. <laughs> um, but yeah, a lot of great times in this yellow minion van we called it um, it was super free being able to just pack up and leave Australia is really really friendly with van life they have so many beach accesses where you can park overnight and use the showers use the electric barbecues you can sleep right in front of so many amazing waves with no one out sometimes you almost want people to be out because it feels a little bit sharky Here's a cool shot of me. They also have a lot of awesome islands. There's Rotnest Island. Um, there's a couple of really cool islands you can check out. There's the Quokies that everyone takes selfies with. Um, there's all these little mini islands. This is one of my favorite beaches in the world um, along the Great Ocean Road. Cool little spot to camp down on the beach some little novelty waves just a beautiful beach with no one there um, here's another shot of it beautiful coastline we were there in the summer so the waves actually were not as good as they do get um, like we were at snapper it was super small basically flat but we still scored there's us with Miko found our buddy Mick got a couple waves with him Rode some camels in the desert. That was pretty cool. Australia has everything. Um, they got desert. They got diving. They got mountains. They got the straightest, longest road in the world. Kangaroos. They have so much wildlife. It's insane. So much stuff that wants to bite you or slither up on you. Or the biggest spiders, biggest snakes. Uh, they got the roos, of course. Love the kangaroos. Love the little joeys. Um, they got shapes, one of the best snacks feed. of all time. I think I'm giving this guy a feed. Um, yeah, we scored a lot of waves. We weren't the best surfers at the time of the trip, so it was actually good we went during summer because um, it was just mostly small and fun. Here's a, what is it, a capybara. Nice little rainbow driving on the left side of the road and... Um, using stick with their left hand was tricky. Um, Louie actually had to learn how to drive the van or learn to drive stick and here you see I think I was freaking out because kangaroos on the menu. I don't think I did I don't think I ever tried the kangaroo. Oh also I got a really bad infection um, I think it started in Bali but took over in Australia and uh, I was in the hospital for a little bit having an IV because antibiotics weren't working um, so be careful with with infections guys of course always 
especially if you're in Bali or Australia and you're from America, they got different stuff. Oh, and of course you got to drink a Foster, even though people in Australia do not actually drink Fosters. Here's us having a classic feed. This is us with Jess and Keanu, the first time on the Great Ocean Road. Of course, you got to go to the Opera House. And yeah, here's me running down to my favorite beach. Um, we So, this was our plan for us high school friends, Louie and McKenna, to meet up um, in Australia. And we did three months in the van. Uh, yeah, me and Louie went, so first starting in Byron, north to Noosa, then back past Byron, Melbourne, Sydney, Great Ocean Road, then back to pick up McKenna, then we did Great Ocean Road again, and then we went all the way to West Oz, where we eventually sold the van for like 400 Australian dollars, so it would have been the same if we rented or if we bought, because the van started breaking down, having a bunch of issues, we barely made it into Perth. Or we didn't even make it all the way to Perth. We barely made it into Margaret River. Sold the van there. Then we had to take a train to Perth to catch our flights out to Bali. And we got our flights the last day our visas allowed it. Um, so, yeah, that was, that was wild. Um, amazing three months. We went to Bali to get our work visas and then head back to Australia to link back up. Just us three high school friends because it was always our plan to go to Australia and get random easy jobs before we got careers. Um, this was after we all graduated from college. We didn't want to go right into getting a career so we wanted to yeah just work random jobs like waiting tables and stuff um, to make some money and capitalize on the twenty dollar minimum wage we had heard about but in our next episode, I'll talk about why that plan didn't work, but that concludes the van life episode. I know that was quick. Um, I can go into more detail in another video, but that was just a quick Australia van life overview. Highly recommend going to Australia if you get the chance. Shoo!